Hello children and people at home. Hello everyone at Barnes Road. It's great to join with you. Today we are thinking about how God made human beings and I have a few questions for you. My first question is, can you roll your tongue? If you can, can you show whoever's in the room with you if you've got someone else there or if not just roll your tongue? I can and I can even do a funny one like isn't that funny? I wonder if you can roll your tongue at home. Do you know the human tongue has more than 8,000 taste buds which help us taste the food that we eat? See, it tastes delicious. So on our tongues, there are 8,000 tiny taste buds that help us taste our food. Isn't that amazing? Second question, can you um, arch your eyebrow? Can you do that one? Have a go at home, have a go at Barnes Road. Can you do the other one? I wonder if you can. Do you know, our eyebrows are designed to stop any dust or any objects falling into our eyes. Isn't that clever? They're there on top of our eyes to stop that happening. What an amazing design. Third challenge, really. Can you hold out your fist? If you're an adult, you can hold out too. If you're a child, your heart is roughly the size of your fist. And if you're an adult, it's two of your fists. Can you try and make your fists beat like a heart? So just move them every so often. Well done, you can stop. Do you know, for an average human lifespan, our hearts beat more, let me check, more than three billion times. Isn't that amazing? And our hearts are designed so they don't get tired. Wow. We have bodies that have been designed by an amazing creator, God. And do you, do you know something else that's amazing about our bodies? It's written in Genesis 1 verse 27. Let me show you. God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. So mankind means human beings. God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. So human beings are created to be like a little picture of what God is like. So human beings can love and think and talk in a way that animals and plants can't. Human beings can make friends and care for others. Human beings are made in the image of God to be like a little picture to show a bit of what God is like. And because human beings are all made by God and made in his image, it means that all human beings have value. That means they're important, they're special, they're loved. All human beings are made by God, they're known by God, and they're loved by God. Maybe we need to think about what that means for us and how we view ourselves that we're made and known and loved by God. Or maybe it, it's, we need to think about what that means for how we treat other people, that they're made in the image of God, they're known by him, they're loved by him. And human beings are made to love God. We were made to know God and follow him. Adam and Eve, they were the first man and woman in the world. They lived in a garden, the Garden of Eden, and God was there with them. They knew God. They could talk to God. They knew that God loved them. They were in a perfect friendship with him, and they knew that they were made to follow him. And all of us, we've been made in God's image. We're known by God and loved by God, and we've been made to love and follow God and be in a friendship with him. Next week, we'll see how we've made that more difficult, but we'll also see how God has a plan. But for now, let's just think about the fact that God has made each of us in his image. We have been made to be a picture of what, a bit of what God is like. 
We are made by God and known by God and loved by God. And we are made to love God back. Shall we shut our eyes now and talk to God? Father, thank you so much that you have made us and you have made us in your image. Thank you that you love us and that you know everything about us. Thank you for the amazing bodies which you've designed for us. Please help us to know what it means to love you and follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. Great. Well, I'm going to hand over, back over now to Barnes Road for our Bible reading. Over to you.